So what is the lookup field? Can we say this? Elder's dependent child. The moment I choose and the dependent child. You see the related business object is dependent because it knows that this ESI is linked to the dependent business object. Okay, although this, this particular ESI, is in the worker business object, but it is the business object, is worker right. Make no mistake. This ESI is stored in the worker business object, but we are extracting information from a related business object. That is what we are doing. That's why it says the related business object is dependent. Not anything else, dependent return value. What do you want? Which value do you want from the dependent business? Object. Age. What field is it? Come on. Which field do we want to get from the dip from the dependent business? Object, age, age, right age. So if I look at age, is it the age of the worker? No, it's the age of the dependent, right? So we have actually got the age of the dependent. Which dependents? Age that? The dependent that we have identified using the ESI, the eldest dependent. So now we have got the age of the eldest dependent child. Right, if you understand the logic, that creating the calculated field is simple, but first we have to identify the flow of data. How are we going to retrieve the data? Based on what condition? If you understand that, then creating the calculated field is easy, right? But first of all we have to spend some time analyzing and understanding the relationships between the related business object. Primary business object. What information is present where right? That would take time, that would take some experience. It won't come overnight. So do not worry if you are not able to understand it right away. It will take some time, it will take some experience. So we will say age of the eldest. Dependent child. Okay. All right. Now let's run it one more time. Right. Okay. Okay, all right. So let's crawl to the right. Megan McNeil is 22. Right. We have the information here, so we can cross-verify. 22, Stefan Schneider is 26. Juan Carlos is 32, right. It is right here. So we are not making up, we are not getting inconsistent data, and this test deletes this test. Data is also 29 years old. Now. Can I say that? Okay, we are going to launch a specific program for the dependent children who are more than 25 years old, right? The people who are more than 25 years old. Or maybe we are not looking at dependents who are more than 30 years old, because if somebody is more than 30 years old, we do not consider that person to be a dependent, unless that person has some physical disability. Right. So let's say we only want dependents who are less than 30 years old. Can we do this? Right now, can we do this? 
Filter only the dependents who are less than 30 years old. How should we do this in the report? I want to fill. I want to create a report that gives me the names of dependents who are less than 30 years old. Dependent children. How do we do that in the report? Go to the related actions. Then let's edit the report. Report edit right. I want the names of the workers who has a dependent. The eldest dependent is less than 30 years old. Come on. This is easy. Nothing to do with the calculated fees. Just normal filtering. And then we'll go into subfilter. Why subfilter? Because we're looking at the age of the dependents. I am only looking at the age of the eldest child. Okay then. Less than 30 years old right. Ellis, less eldest child less than 30. That is what we want. We go to filter, filter, and then we add a condition here. And what do we want? Fields on the report. Age of the eldest dependent child right it's a numeric field. So what can we say? Less than or equal to, less than or equal to. And here, in the value we provide, 30. Right. That's all. That's it. Click OK. All right. So once we run this report, let's run this report. Two thousand, the same data set that we were using prior. Let's just use it one more time. I think just one record will go away. Right. The rest of them will remain. So we had one dependent with 32 years old was 32. So we have filtered that particular record out. So now our Megan is 22 less than 30, Stefan 26 less than 30. This test is less than 30. It's 29. Right. So this is what we have created. Understood how we are able to, how we are able to do this. Yes, I had a lookup related value. 